Ja, ik vind alles fijn. Ja? Ik vind ze heel hard. Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by the lovely Lisa from Hollybobs and we are going to be doing the Netflix book tag. I cannot remember the person who um, <laughs> originally made the tag so I will link it in the description box down below when I have found the original tag and I will also leave all the questions down below if you want to do the tag as well. So the first question is, recently watched the last book you've just finished reading? So I'm a Kindle reader. So most of mine are on my Kindle. I have borrowed some of Jess's books for the purpose of this video, but the majority of stuff is on here. So the last book I read was Earth Girl by Janet Edwards, which is a book sort of set about 700 years in the future. And they've discovered portals and they uh, have sort of colonised new worlds, but there are some that can't go to the new world, so they're, set on, they're stuck on Earth. Um, and it's about this one girl in particular who's stuck on earth and how she sort of deals with that and uh, she goes to school and things like that. So that's my uh, most recent book. Is it a YA? Yes. Is it a YA book? Most of these are. The last book that I read <coughs> was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. This is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series which is a YA fantasy book and it's probably my least favourite book of the series so far, um, but I'm glad I finished it now. Question two is top picks, a book or books that have been recommended to you based on other books that you have read. So most of the books I read are recommendations on other books. I'm reading loads of YA stuff at the moment. Um, so like I say, most of the ones I read are recommendations. Probably the most recent one is the Mistborn trilogies. Um, I read the first three, they're by Brendan Sanderson. Um, and loved them. So this one is Alloy of Law. So that's his, it's sort of the fourth one in the sort of six long series, but the fourth, fifth and sixth are set later on. Um, so this was recommended. I didn't like these much, these ones as much as I did the first three Miss Barnes, but they're still a good series, so one I'd recommend to people. And mine is um, Still Life by Louise Penny. This is part of a series called Inspector Gamash Mysteries, and this was recommended to me by another booktuber called Katie from Life Between Words, whose channel I will link down below. And um, she knows that I like cosy murder mysteries, and she thought that I would like this. And she was correct. It was very good. <laughs> Question three. Recently added. Um, so this is the last book that you bought. Okay, so Kindle again. Um, the last one I bought was the second in the series of the Earth Girl trilogies, which is called Earth Star. Uh, so that follows on uh, from obviously the first one and features the heroine Jara. Um, and again, it's a young adult trilogy. The last book that I bought was A Spool of you can't see that because it's really shiny. A Spool of Blue Thread by Anne Tyler. And this was a Richard and Judy recommendation oh, really? last year, I think. Um, and I don't know anything about it other than it's some kind of family drama. But it ha it's got lots of acclaim and it's got really high ratings on Goodreads. Um, mm. So I thought it sounded interesting. So I thought I'd give it a go. Number four. <laughs> Popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about. So one read, one that you've read and one that you haven't read. So I went for The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I think it's one of those books that pretty much everybody in the world has read if you are a reader or even if you're not a reader. Yeah. Absolutely uh, loved it. It really definitely lived up to the hype for me. Um, do you want to do yours next? Yeah, my red one is uh, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This was less no well known, I think, until the TV until the series, series came, out, yeah. came out and now everyone's read it. But I read it, I reckon, about seven years ago. Really? I started reading this series. Yeah, it takes it seven was, years to read. Yeah, <laughs> it was before Meg was born when I first oh started God. these, and she's eight this year, so yeah. Um, and I've reread them Have quite you? a few times because they're so big. Every time a new one came out, I would go back and reread the whole, yeah. which I would never have time to do now because they're all about 900 pages long. Um, but yeah, so this is my um, one that everyone's heard about and that I've read. Okay, so ones everybody's heard about that I've not read is Lord of the Rings, and I don't intend on reading Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Might as well be the end of this video now. <laughs> it's just, my husband's got The Hobbit, and in fact, no, my husband's got them all, but he's not a reader, but he's read The Hobbit, and my father-in-law loves them, and loves all that kind of stuff, but it's just too long and complicated, and I can't do with too much description, and that is just too much for me, so yeah. I just can't pace Lord of the Rings. It's quite long-winded. Yeah. And mine is... Um, Divergent by Veronica Roth. I've read Divergent and I've read Insurgent. I don't even know what the last one's called. Do you know what it's called? I should do. 
but I don't. But I haven't read it. Whatever it's called, I haven't. I haven't read it. I don't know why I haven't read it. Um, I will at some point pick the third one up, but um, not in any hurry to do so. Question five is comedies a funny book that you have read? Okay, I don't really read many funny books. A lot of them are sort of actiony thrillers or crimes or young adult stuff, fantasy stuff. Um, but I have read Bridget Jones's Diary, and that is a funny one. Uh, I read that years ago when it first came out. Um, so yeah, that's a funny book I've read. And I have chosen the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. This is a middle grade series, and I just find it hilarious. I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be funny or not, but just some of the things that Percy says and that Rick Riordan writes are just so cheesy that you have to you have to kind of laugh about them. I really, really enjoy these books, so um, I recommend that everybody reads them. Have you read them? No, I've not read them. They are actually really good. They're not complicated. I kind of thought they were more of a kid series, so that's yeah, why I never read them. They're age... a bit Harry Potter kind of. No, younger than that. They are they? Eight, age eight plus. Oh, right, okay. But they are actually really, really good. <laughs> Question six, dramas. A character who is a drama queen slash king. So I have gone for Selena. I never know how to pronounce that, from Throne of Glass. Um, I did like this series, this is a Sarah J Maas series. Um, I preferred her second trilogy, um, but yeah, I just found she was a bit over dramatic and kind of often went off in huffs or to be and that emotional doesn't change. and stuff like that. So I've chosen her as my drama queen. And I know you really like these books. I have chosen Alina from um, the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I did not enjoy this trilogy at all. Um, I just didn't get her character, I didn't connect with her character. I really, really loved Six of Crows, um, and I read this first, this trilogy first, but I just, I so just I thought she was around. dead I preferred whiny. these two, Six of Crows. I just, oh, I didn't get it, I did not get it at all. I thought, I kept waiting for her to like realise that she was some kind of powerful person and do something really dark and interesting, and she just, no. she just didn't, so she is my drama queen. Seven animated a cover with cartoons on the front, and I think that this is meant to be like manga or oh, right, um, okay. graphic novels or stuff. But I don't read no, I don't read anything like that. So I have chosen um, my Harry Potter covers, which are the new Bloomsbury UK covers, and they've got really cool graphics on the back, cartoons on the back. So that's Dobby. I just I love these. I think they're so cool. Yeah, they are really nice. Um, and again, I've stolen one of Jess's books, but the one that I've got of this is also, um, I've got a cartoon on the front, and it's Roald Dahl. Matilda is one of my favourite Roald Dahl books. I remember when I first got this book, and I read it in like a day, um, so yeah, I went for Matilda. Number eight is Watch Again, a book or a series of books that you would like to reread. Um, I've chosen Harry Potter. Um, I read these when they first came out and I think I was in university at the time and I've not read them since and I would really really like to it's just finding the time especially the later ones because they're massive yeah. Um, but yeah Harry Potter and I have chosen the Narnia series by C.S. Lewis um, I think I've only ever read these once when I was a kid um, but I've owned them for years and years so I'd quite like to quite like to give them they're a They're not too again. thick either, so you probably could quite easily. Yeah, and they're children's books, aren't they? So they're probably quite easy to read. Yeah. So, number nine is documentaries, a non-fiction book that you would recommend. Okay, I love uh, Kathy Glass, who is a foster carer and writes about her, sort of the experiences she's gone through and her books focus on a different child she's fostered on each one. Um, so I've gone for her first book, which is Damaged, which is a really heartbreaking story, but it is just one of those that... Um, is she writes so I think she writes really well she writes um, she just sucks you into the story and I read Damaged again I read that in a day um, so that is my non-fiction and I have chosen Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand which was recently turned into a film and it's about an Olympic runner who becomes a pilot during the Second World War and it's his story basically and he just has the most incredible experience his plane crashes in the ocean and he gets out with some of the other crew and goes into the rescue boat and I think I'm correct in saying that they are the people who have survived the longest in a boat just out on the ocean. I can't remember how oh. long um, they're out really for. Good. It's really horrible. It's quite hard hitting. Oh is it? Um, but it's really really fascinating and then it all, but it also talks about his life once he's been rescued and come back and he's trying to Right. sort of settle with what happened because um spoiler alert not all of them <laughs> not all of them make it but it is it's really really interesting and um 
yeah, he was, he, I think he won some, I think he went to the Berlin Olympics and he won a load of medals. Oh, right. Then the World War broke out and he ended up being a pilot. But yeah, oh. I thought this was fascinating and I think I cried. I'm fairly certain I cried. I don't cry Halfway through it because I was just like, really? yeah, it's hard. It's oh. hard read, but it is actually really fascinating as well. <laughs> Number 10 is action and adventure books that are action packed. Which I think we both read quite a lot of action stuff because we read a lot of young adult stuff. Um, stuff yeah. I have gone for Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, which I absolutely loved. If you've not read this book, you should read this book. Um, I don't even I can't I don't even know how to describe the story. <laughs> it's that sort of all sorts happens, um, and it's a bit sort of fantastical. Um, but yeah, brilliant book. So that was my choice. Um. I struggled with this one a little bit because I think a lot of the fantasy books that I like to read are quite character driven which means that they're usually quite slow um, so I went for City of Bones by Cassandra Clare which is the first book in the Shadow Hunters series and I don't like these books because they are very complex I like them because they're really easy to read but it's certainly true that it, you just hit the ground running with them it's go 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 from the very first book to the fourth book which is where I'm up to at the moment. Number 11 is new releases so a book that has just come out or a book that is coming out that you can't wait to read. Um, the third book of The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas is my pick and I am so excited for that it comes out this year I think it comes out in May yeah. could be wrong but I think it's yeah, May. It um, I love this series particularly the second one um, so I cannot wait for the third one. And I have chosen Origin by Dan Brown, which comes out in September this year, and that is his fifth, sixth Robert Langdon I was going to say, is it Robert book? Langdon again? Yeah, so it's his fifth Robert Langdon book, and I don't know, he hasn't released any information about it or cover or anything, but um, I'm very, very excited for that one. And then the final question is just to tag some people. Um, I'm going to tag Shan from Helpful Mum, because I know she occasionally does talk about books on her YouTube channel. And I'm going to tag Julie from A Girl and a Book and Molly from Molly Reads. And we will link all of their channels in the description box down below if you want to go and check them out. So there you go. They are the answers to the Netflix book tag. As I said, I will link to the original video in the description box down below. But as always, thank you for watching and we will see you soon. Bye. It's a bit That's of a, a drama. Really big spoiler. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't find that okay. in the second book. Right, well I'll say so. <laughs> 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 <laughs>